Hello. It's been a little bit since I made a video. Um, I'm actually in front of Captain D's, a place where I worked for just a little while while uh, in high school. My sister worked here too. It's in here. They got a fence in the back and me and my sister used to race from here back to the house. And uh, I remember one time, uh, uh, let me see if I can show you guys. All right, so right over, eh, well, right over there where that sign is, uh, there used to be a cut through. There used to be a cut through where you can go and there's a road along the back area. And one time I was pace, facing forward and she was facing this way and like, let's race back home. And, She's like, you're parked the wrong direction. You got to back out. She says, I don't care. So we ended up go, you know, starting. And I took off and went across the field and went back through the neighborhood. And I beat her. And then uh, another time afterwards, we did it again. And she went to take off across. And there used to be a ditch here and ran right into the ditch. In fact, the, the street I live on now, believe it or not, we actually raced literally mirror to mirror down this road and i mean because like i uh and i don't want to get into you know involved in everything of the race but like uh we split off and went different directions and then ended up back together and when we turned down the road to go back to you know where my mom's house is now um i turned on the road and i'm like i'm so far ahead and all of a sudden i seen this lights behind me and everything else i'm like shit a cop and next thing i know she's right here and uh, crazy ass, just absolutely crazy. And But I mean, we were going at speed. And I mean, my mirror could have touched her mirror. And if I remember correctly, I had a Chevy Cavalier and she had a Pontiac 6000 or something like that. It's like a Sunbird back in the day. If you're young, you have no idea who these, what these cars are. So, but anyways, I was just in there, uh, Reminisce and there's a lot more stories about Captain D's that I am not going to put out into the world um, But a lot of shit went down here in fact uh, My first times I ever had relations with a black woman was Someone I met here and I was her birthday present and she had a uh, oh, Here comes rain She had a, um, a Barbecue birthday and it was an entire black family and I was the only white person there and uh, I was her present. She wanted to have sex with a white person and I was around, so I, I won. Uh, but anyways, a lot of memories, a lot of memories. I don't know what, I just, I was like, I want some seafood. And I just happened to end up here at Captain D's and brought back all this stuff. So, but I have been working like crazy. Um, I've been building doors, uh, moving the stuff. I'm still moving stuff out of my mom's storage locker. And uh, I had to rent another storage locker uh, for to put some of the furniture in and I'm using the back part of it. So uh, just trying to help her out. But I'm glad I didn't try to move anything right now because it just, it just started raining. I think I just spit on myself. I apologize if you saw that. Um, but I've been uh, building doors for a bunch of customers. Uh, by tomorrow, I should be 100% door uh, done with all the doors as far as building them for the rest of the month. So, uh, had a truck delivery that was supposed to come yesterday. They forgot to put the stuff on the truck. So, I mean, it's like, I don't need to make up stories. This shit is real. You know what I'm saying? This is my life. Uh, but. Anyways, I didn't get it yesterday, so I said, hey, what's going on, what's going on? And they said, okay, well, we'll get it to you Friday. And I'm like, I was supposed to have been on a job today, putting in the door, which again, it worked out that I wasn't there, and now it's raining, so it's about two o'clock, so I've still been um, there with the door torn out, and it started raining, so that wouldn't have been fun. But the, uh, I got sidetracked. Anyways, I've been building doors, moving my mom's stuff. Oh, I've been working in the studio, too. Uh, I'm going back there now, and I should have everything done tonight with the studio to where 
either later on tonight or tomorrow I'm gonna make a video in the studio I've been trying to decide what I want to talk about because there's a lot of stuff that I've been doing research on and it is political but it's very middle of the road political I'm not trying to pick a side or anything you know I, I try to do a very truthful very um, you know where you can make your own opinion I try not to you know, I, I, if I do say something about what I believe, then I tell you this is what I believe. You don't have to believe that way. Blah, blah, blah. But I do want to go ahead and mention one little tiny thing. And I know my sister, I know my mom, uh, and other people. I've told people this in the past. Okay, I've talked to a lot of customers. A lot of people got pissed off at me. But I have told people. And Miss Sister and Miss Mom... And y'all roll your eyes at me, talking about, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. I told y'all that cops were opening doors for people on July 6th. That I watched it happen. They were moving the gates out of the way. They were holding doors open. And now we got the proof that, you know, now that's the whole thing about the shaman and all that stuff with the uh, January 6th riots. Uh, well occupation whatever you want to call it um, you know a lot of people were just roaming around taking pictures you know a lot of people that were there were absolutely clueless on what was happening that was being recorded and, and you know and there's gonna be some people that I hope heads are gonna roll because they hid that information they hid these uh, these tapes from the prosecution hit them from the uh, defendant the, or the plaintiff or whatever you want to call him, the shaman guy, and he goes to jail. And I'm not saying he's innocent by any means. He was there. He shouldn't have been there. But they had him as the ringleader, as everything else, and he might have been. I don't know. I don't want to get into that part of it. But they hid the tapes of where the cops were trying to open up doors and escorting them and basically give them a tour, you know. But... Miss uh, Sister and Miss Mom, when I tell y'all I know shit, okay, and y'all roll your eyes and you make you little eh, whatever, I don't have to lie, okay? My, my life is this unique that I see these things. You know, when all this stuff was happening, I was watching live on Twitch people on the ground who were live streaming it. That's how I get a lot of information. When we had the summer of riots and all of them 200 some riots across the country, at night, after I was done working, I'm watching these people and seeing how they act, how they do it. So if it ever happened here, I know what to expect. You know? But yeah. Apologies and uh, condolences or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll be waiting. Because that's, you know, especially my sister. Because I saw her roll her eyes when I told her that. And I know she didn't believe me. I know she thinks that I'm full of shit half the time. But, uh... She's constantly getting proven that I know what the hell I'm talking about. And this goes to anybody else. Uh, I don't have to, you know, uh, manipulate anything that I, any of the stories I tell you are 100% true. Uh, there may be things that I leave out of the story for legal or discretionary purposes, but everything I tell you happens to me on a daily basis. You know, this has become more of a a vlog, like a video log of my life versus what I attended to make, uh, you know, I wanted to make something where I can help people and everything else, and I still do. I'm still planning on trying to help people. I'm still trying, trying to show people how to, um, you know, it, uh, better their lives, to, you know, have a more open mind about the things that you don't agree with, uh, have, you know, be humble for the things that you know to be true. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've said that your truth and my truth has been based on, you know, what has happened to us in our lives. There are hardcore conservatives, there's middle of the road, and there's hardcore liberals. You know, it doesn't make anybody right or wrong, but we're choosing to cherry pick little aspects of things that go along with what we believe to be the truth. 